Hello everyone, welcome back to SBR Pythons. Hope you're doing well. Today we've got the clutch update on clutch five of the year. Um, obviously the season is over now, so just bringing you some updates on the animals um, as they're sort of shedding out and getting some meals behind them. Um, these two are the standout in the clutch in my opinion. But what we'll do is we'll go through them in chronological order as normal and uh, we'll come back to these two and we can discuss what we're looking at here. Um, the left one is a hold back as you're looking at them now. Um, but as I say, what we'll do is we'll just start off with uh, number one and we'll go through them in chronological order. We have got three normals that are in shed today, but what I'll do is flash up a photo of the animal instead so that you guys can see them in their true colours um, because effectively they're not going to be in their true colours obviously when they're in shed. But at the time of recording, I've got a customer coming to collect or potentially I'll be currying or taking the animals um, to their owners and I'll ultimately... I want to make sure I get a clutch update to you guys before they obviously leave the uh, leave well leave SBR Python. So tune in for today's video, as I say, um, and we'll go through and see exactly what we hashed out. So here we go. Here we have the first animal from this ple uh, this pairing. Sorry, if you remember, the pairing was an Enchi Orange Dream Het Ultra Male possible Het for Pied to a special Het Pied. Now, unfortunately, we didn't hit any Pieds, um, but it was a Het to Het. Even if he did prove out, obviously being Pos Het to a Het, it was even more of a risk. But ultimately, um, we hatched out some nice Pos Double Hets. What I would say before we even get into the animals is I was extremely lucky with sex ratios and, and markers. Um, I got three normals, one Enchi, one special, kind of ruining what's coming up. But, you know, in terms of what's coming up, we'll show you the markers and we'll show you the sexes and stuff. And we really were lucky in the sense that what isn't a holdback should be relatively easy to, to sell in what could have been a hard clutch to sell, to be honest. But as I say, here is the first one. It's just a normal 50% double het for Ultra Male Pied. This female has got markers, as you can see. But what I'll do is I'll flash up a picture now for you guys to have a look at this girl in her true colours. Really, really nice normal. Um, the thing is with these three normals, not going to pick them up because, as I say, we're not here to produce normals. So I'm never going to say a normal is exactly what we was looking for. But what I would say with all three of the normals in this clutch, they're all female and they've all got het pied markers off the top of my head. So um, really, really was lucky in the fact that the normals that we did hit did have some extra features, which hopefully um, should mean that they'll either prove out for, well, will hopefully prove out going forward for the uh, the people who decide to pick up these animals. So speaking of which, this normal here is sold. Um, so the first, well, effectively two normals and the three gene male, all possible double hets. Um, we've done a group deal with a customer. So th those three are sold, but the rest of the clutch are available, which is an Enchi, a special and normal females. Um, the Enchi and the normal having het pied markers and an Enchi special possible OD, possible double het male, which we can either do individual sales on or a group deal. Um, but as I say, here is the first normal. Um, unfortunately, it's shed, but obviously you did get a look at her. She has got some nice het pied markers. We'll move on now to the second animal of the clutch. So moving on, we have another female, and this one is a holdback. It's the only holdback from the clutch. And this is a special Orange Dream 50% double het for Ultra Male Pied. Now, as you can see from obviously the difference in normal to special, you get sort of the alien heads have an if for a difference. Um, and as you'll see with the specials, they do also have, if I can get her to sit, sit still for a second, they do also have these incredible head stamps. I don't know if that's going to be coming through for you guys, but... This female was initially for sale, and then I just kind of had a moment where I thought, well, hang on, what am I doing selling a, a special Orange Dream possible double het when I've got a special het pied in the rack, um, both female? I may as well raise this one up and ultimately go on to replace the special single gene special het pied with a two gene special uh, Orange Dream that could be het pied and then also could be het for Ultraman as well. No ringers, no real het pied markers. I mean, that could be, uh, looking at it, I suppose that could be a ringer in there. Um, where it is orange on the sides, that could be a ringer trying to come through. Um, otherwise, just a nice, no uh, sorry, a nice special orange dream that is 50% double het for Ultra Male Pied. And as I say, that is a female, and that one is a holdback. The next animal is this Enchi Special 50% double het for Ultra Male Pied male. Um, and I'm actually going to do the two males in together and not in chronological order, because what I want to do is just bring this male in, who I also showed at the start of the video. Now, this one I believe to be Orange Dream, and this one is a POS Orange Dream. So, the reason I say that is not the oranges down the side, because obviously this does have nice oranges coming down the side, same as this one. Um, but they are slightly different in terms of vibrancy, as you can see there. Um, but what really is interesting is if you look on the, on the dorsal of this animal, what makes me think this one could not be Orange Dream is these sort of blacks and browns on the back of the saddle are there, whereas on this other male... 
which I believe to be Orange Dream. You can see they've got the blush in, in, these, uh, in these saddles on the back. So that is the difference that made me think one is definitely Orange Dream and one is a possible Orange Dream. This is the Enchi Special Possible Double Het, uh, Possible OD that is available. Um, no real Het marker, Het Pied markers on there if I remember. Yeah, not really got any Het Pied markers to go off. Sorry, I'm not even showing them. <laughs> not really got any Het Pied markers to go off. Um, and then as I say, this boy is sold. He is the triple and he is a possible Het. And he's got very, very slim sort of Het Pied markers at the back of his tail there. But as I say, and these were the only two males from the clutch. So going back to just talking about um, how lucky I was. Um, the only males in the clutch are two genes that are, you know, one's definitely all three genes and the other one might be all three genes. So, um, got really lucky on the male side there. Um, and again, you can see the head stamp of the special coming through there, hopefully. Um, again, both of these have got the special head stamp. Um, so, not bad males at all in the slightest. Um, and as I said, I really can't complain considering um, the fact that the males, I kind of needed them to be more powerful in order to be able to move the animals on. So... Um, the odds gods and sex gods really helped me out on that one. So if you guys are interested in an Enchi special 50% double head ultra male pied, let me know. And as I say, I'm more than happy to set up a group deal if you want to take on a couple of females and sort of take that that gamble. Because uh, at the end of the day, possets are a gamble. It needs a 50% possible double heads for two recessives. So um, what we'll do now is move on to the next couple of animals. As I say, I think the next one's going to be another normal um, and I shall go and grab it for you. So next up, we have another normal 50% double het for Ultra Male Pied. And again, this is a female, and this one is actually one of the two females that is sold. Um, just a nice normal. I'll flash up a picture now so you guys can see what this animal looks like when it's not in shed. Um, unfortunately, at the time of recording, effectively, these animals are going off to the IHS Doncaster show. And I want to make sure I get the video filmed um, before they obviously leave. But that means that a couple of them are going to be in shed because that's obviously they've reached that age now. They've had about, I think they've had about eight or nine meals um, and so they've reached that age where or that sort of size and age where they're going to go into their second shed of their, their life cycle so that is why um, these animals are in shed that's right they've all been vicious as well i'm not going to lie let's see if we can get this girl to stretch out and just show you that she has got het pied markers without getting bitten that'd be nice so as you can see she has got het pied markers as well so uh, a female normal 50 percent double het for ultra male pied that is sold and going off to the ihs so uh, this weekend, or whenever you see this effectively, um, gone off to the IHS show. Moving on to something that is very similar, but is different in the sense that obviously this is a codon. Um, you know, without a bit of experience, without looking into the gene and working with it, I suppose you would look at this and go, that's a nice normal. Um, but this is actually a female special 50% double head for ultra male pie. Again, she's showing you that she's got that tiny sort of head stamp on the top there that is that special. Um, but also, again, if we look down the sides, I'm trying not to get bitten because, again, this is another female that will bite me. Um, I don't know why this clutch has specifically been uh, evil. Again, it's got sort of that jagged, um, reduced alien heads. Got the this typical special banding. Um, and as I say, the, the key giveaway for special is the head stamp. Um, so as you can, guys can see, hopefully there, you get that sort of head stamp that comes through with specials. Um, and as I say, female. No head pied markers on this girl, unfortunately. Um, but that is the female special 50% double head ultra male pie that is available. Um, I, I do expect this girl to get snapped up fairly soon just because Special and Pied is uh, coming to the forefront of the market and I think someone will eventually take a gamble on this female. So we'll see what happens, but we'll move on to the next two females. What I would say, it's worth bearing in mind if you are looking at potentially jumping in this project and taking a gamble on effectively what is a, you know, we're talking sort of maybe six, 700, not even a massive amount for a potential 1.3 uh, possible double head project. So there's a, there's a project there to be taken if you've got a, a gambling instinct in you. Um, but this female and the next two that are coming up are effectively the three females that are available in this clutch and can be done in a, in a group deal. So um, just bear that one in mind as I go and grab the next animal for you. Next up, guys, as you can see, we have another normal 50% double head ultra male pied female with markers. Um, what I'll do again is flash up a picture now so that you guys can see the het pied markers this girl has. Uh, sorry, not het pied markers. See this girl in her natural colours. Um, again, this one is available, a normal 50% double hair. If you're looking to take a gamble, this girl's not going to be much at all. Um, not going to big it up as the most amazing animal, because we all know that, as I've just mentioned, normals aren't what we shoot for. You know, I was shooting for an Enchi Orange Dream Pie Posset Ultra Mel. We don't all get what we want. Um, I've been very lucky this year, but I weren't that lucky on this clutch, apart from obviously having six females, two males. But normal 50% double hair Ultra Mel Pied, and then we'll move on to the final animal in the clutch, which is an Enchi. 
And finally, we have a female Enchi 50% double het for Ultra Male Pied. This girl's not in shed, thank God. Um, and again, this girl has got some het pied markers if she wants to just show them off quickly. Now, this girl is quite shy. Um, you'll notice she's smaller than the rest of her clutch siblings, but as you can see, you've got het pied markers there, sorry. Um, this girl is the smallest because it's taken her the longest to get feeding. Um, all eight of this clutch are now smashing food. Um, and I think this girl is the only girl that's on mice. But effectively, this girl has only taken two mice with me so far. Um, definitely took the longest to get going. But I would say a little bit of patience because um, this is the longest I've left a hatchling to, to get feeding by itself without assist feeding. Obviously offering live, but she didn't even want live. I think I left this girl for two months um, or nearly two months. And she's now got there on her own, which is fantastic. Um, but as I say, the final animal from the clutch is an Enchi 50% double het for Ultra Male Pied. Um, Enchi is obviously crucial um, in special pieds, I would say. That's why I'm trying to get it into my uh, special pied project. and waiting for a new male to come up. But um, there's an op opportunity there, as I say, for anyone that wants to take a gamble. Um, let me know. Uh, but otherwise, you've seen exactly what we've hatched out in this clutch. Um, love bringing these clutch updates to you when you guys get to see sort of what we've hatched. Because obviously, from the egg to now, they've checked change that's not stupid but obviously you don't really get to see exactly what they are in the uh in the egg and when when i'm cutting the eggs i'm kind of taking an educated guess anyway i mean it's always an educated guess um this is an educated guess i mean we're fairly confident it's going to be just an entry but everything's an educated guess so um once they come out of the egg obviously you get to see exactly what we're looking at and, and you can make your own sort of assumptions as always if you think i've got any of my ids wrong let me know in the comments below completely open to what you guys think um but other than that that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for the support, guys. I don't always hit pides. <laughs> um, so, as I say, have a great show if this is going out before the show. If it's, if it's gone out after, then I hope the show was great. Um, but other than that, guys, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.